Hello. Today I'm going to do a review of a new product I just got. And this is something uh, I kind of needed to complete a uh, build that I was working on. I worked on a and built a dedicated 22 long rifle upper receiver for the AR-15. And uh, I needed a vice block for the upper receiver to install the barrel. And I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the clamshell type uh, receiver blocks. Uh, unfortunately, there's too many variations in a uh, AR upper receiver. You could have a carry handle. You could have a billet that uh, looks, you know, looks and fits a little bit differently. Uh, good thing about this is there are no variations on the inside of the upper receiver. They are either mill spec or they are not. So this right here was what I came up with. This is the Vism Pro Series upper receiver block for the AR-15, and it's made by NC Star, a division of NC Star. So uh, this was thirty-eight dollars, not bad. A clamshell uh, vice block is going to cost you up to twenty-five dollars, something like that. So for not much more. I got this. I got this through Palmetto State Armory. Uh, unfortunately, it took about 10 days to get here. It came from Louisiana to Bethlehem, Georgia, where I am. It took it about, like I said, about 10 days, and it made over a dozen stops on the way here. So it had a incredible journey to get here. It sounded like a, a movie about a dog that I once saw. Anyways, it is here. I was able to use it and I did get my barrel installed in this new build that I'm working on. Uh, it's made very well. I mean, really, if you look at it, it's uh, kind of designed this part right here like the, the uh, bulk carrier group itself. And it comes in two pieces like this. And it actually bolts together in two places right there when you get it installed. The problem I was having with the uh, the dedicated 22 build was that, uh, and I have to pop that loose, it's a tight fit. The, and this is the CMM receiver, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the CMMG bolt carrier group. It started off as the conversion bolt carrier group, but I've uh, put the dedicated 22 long rifle collar on it in place of the chamber adapter that it came with. So now this is a dedicated 22 long rifle bolt carrier group for the AR-15 rifle. Now the CMMG type barrels, and CMMG is probably the leader in the uh, conversion kits, uh, if you go to there, or if you even Google search it, uh, CMMG will be your top 20 links that you click on. There's a couple of uh, companies that have a really, really similar design, but uh, this, I've used it a bunch already, and uh, it works perfectly, but there are Disadvantages in using a 22 long rifle conversion in a 223 barrel. One, the size of the bullet is slightly different, and the rifling is a lot different. 22 long rifle, <clears throat> it likes a 1 in 16 twist, whereas, you know, the ARR barrel is anywhere from 1 in 7 to 1 in 9. So, accuracy was the. Uh, Bad accuracy was the end result in the conversion, so I want something a little bit more accurate. But you can see on the 22 long rifle barrel for the CMMG, it has a barrel extension that extends down to the receiver. Uh, and the chamber for that is right there. That's the chamber where the, the uh, shell would actually chamber. So, 
the problem is, and I have used the Bev block for all my AR-15 barrel product, uh, projects. And you can see it has the lug right there that locks into the locking lugs of the barrel when it's in the receiver. And it uh, holds that barrel stationary as well as holding the receiver stationary. It has uh, a pin here that locks into the uh, front locking lug and then on the other end of it, it will use the uh, your AR-15 bolt carrier group that would, this is actually backwards, that would actually lock into that and hold it stationary in the receiver. Very good product. This is about $45. I've used it quite a few times and it's worked perfectly for what I needed it to do. Set that aside. So this right here, like I said, was uh, something I looked at and decided that this was what I needed to complete this project. And we'll demonstrate it here. I got to take out the charging handle. And uh, then the upper part here, is going to go in just like a bolt carrier group would and sit there this part right here this part right here and i'm going to set that down right there this part here is going to you have a rectangular cut out there it's going to fit right down over your lock and lug in the part of the what I would call the bolt it's going to lock in there and you have your two pins right here it's going to lock in there and this is actually a quarter inch clevis pin it fits in the back a lot tighter than the uh, uh, one that came with this get it right there and I have a little clip right there that I'll put in there just to lock it down so now it's in there and it's in there uh, fairly tight it does have a, a little bit of a wiggle not much uh, it's not too bad but we don't want that so it comes with two cap head bolts one there and one right here okay and we're going to just take and very quickly just tighten them down a little bit they don't have to be real tight just snug down and now it is in there secure it's cut out right here so that you can when you set it in the vice block you can clamp it down on that holds it stationary and you can actually rock your workbench back and forth with this and it will be very tight. You can see right here that it's on a, a, a vertical plane, you might say, right there. And, and it locks in with everything with the slot for the charging handle. It's a snug fit on the sides where it imitates the bolt carrier group. And then it also locks into your locking lugs of the receiver. So it's holding that uh, receiver at several different points. Uh, and unlike the clamshell that will you know, fit over this. And they're made of polymer or whatever. And uh, they're good for what they are. But like I said, they don't always fit the receivers. And then you have to mount a plastic piece into a vice block and uh, lock it down so this to me is a lot more secure and a lot better and has uh different uh different features actually you can see right here it has a uh the hole right here you can use that for a, a guide to uh you know clean your bore of your barrel without getting all that solvent in your receiver whatever and that's good for that and uh also you can use this without 
the part right here, which I would call the bulk carrier uh, part, you can use it without that and just your pins right here in the bottom piece and mount it up in a vice block and you have something that will hold your upper receiver while you work on sites or whatever you need to do, cleaning, uh, different things. So we'll take that off out of the way. Now, the problem I had with this, well, it wasn't a problem because I anticipated it. What I figured, and by the description, because that hole right there, that hole is not the right size to fit over the barrel extension. It's uh, about a quarter inch hole, and this is probably close to a half inch right here. So what I had to do, and uh, I'll turn this around and show you, is I had to drill this out. And I did kind of a lousy job on it. I did it by hand and got slightly off, so I had to go slightly bigger than I'd thought. But the end result is it fits over it nicely. Uh, I was able to get my barrel installed into the uh, new build here, and I am ready to go to the gun range and get it sighted in and put a few hundred rounds down range and uh, see what it'll do. But I am really excited about my, my new build here. I've already done a video on it, uh, showing it, and have it uh, posted up. But uh, I am excited about this. Uh, my two grandsons are especially excited about it because uh, they like shooting the evil black rifle a lot more than they like shooting my Ruger 1022. So we are having a ball with this. I'll probably end up building another one. Uh, and I'm sure a buddy of mine that I go shooting with will want one. And by the way, uh, just to, to plug uh, Right to Bear Arms, it's the uh, company I got the barrel from, Right to Bear Arms, uh, they have a dedicated 22 long rifle, upper receiver, complete handguard barrel, upper receiver, uh, and the upper receiver they have is a slick side. It doesn't have the forward assist or the shell deflector. Uh, they have it minus the sights for $420 on sale, which uh, is, you cannot build this uh, piece by piece for any less than that, and actually more than that. So if you're interested in a 22 long rifle, dedicated 22 long rifle, uh, you can check them out, or uh, even if you want to shoot 22 long rifle with the conversion kit, I would advise doing that also. A lot of fun, a lot cheaper. So I'm going to end it there and talk to you soon.